All right. Hello. This is Scrap and Lizzie at your service. Well, not really at your service, but that's just what come out my mouth when I opened it. Now, now the other day I made a video making some flowers out of lace. And today I'm going to make the same flowers, but I'm going to use this muslin fabric. And so I'm going to do it the same way. This I tore the muslin. I tore a piece. Um, here in the States we call this muslin. Um, and I do understand that some other places like um, uh, Australia and New Zealand and place, they call another fabric muslin. Um, and what I can gather is what what they call muslin is something we call just um, quilting like calico. Wait a minute. Oh no, they call this cal. Oh, never mind. Pretend like I didn't say anything. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get four pieces of this muslin, whatever you call it. I think somebody calls it calico, but we call calico the stuff we make quilts out of, like cotton fabric with real or I I call. It. Who knows? I may be calling it all the wrong stuff. But what I'm doing is I'm taking four squares. So these are approximately two inch squares. And I tear it because I like to have the um, fringed edges. See, like that, fringed. Let me see if I can stay in frame here. And I'm saving the strings because I'm going to use those too. So as I pull these strings off to make it even more fringed, then I put them little strings there in a little pile and because then I'll use them on this flower so um, I'm using the the um, the fabric the um, a little round piece of of cardstock so I got four of that size and then I'm going to take this now piece is um, less it's about like an inch and a half or inch and a quarter and we're not going for exact um exact sizes we're just kind of approximately so i'm going to get four of these smaller squares now like i said this these squares here are two inch square when you start out with something that is like two inch square, you know that your whole flower is going to be about two inches in diameter. So whatever size you, your largest square is, is about what the diameter of your flower will be. So there, now I have my squares and then I want them shredded. I mean, I want them, I want to pull those extra threads off and then that gives your edge of your fabric that shabbiness looking. I like shabbiness of anything. I like shabby. I like primitive. I like shabby. I like, you know, stuff from way long ago. Um, I was looking at a magazine the other day, you know, because I just get magazines sometimes. And I just look at them and it was all like modern, real modern stuff. And I thought, wow, I couldn't be comfortable in that modern stuff that costs jillions of dollars. And But for me, no, mm -mm, not me. So now I've got, I've got four, four squares of, of the two inch and four squares of the one and a half ish inch so you get them like one and a half one and a quarter one inch then you go fold them in half on the diagonal and then fold them in half on the diagonal again now i'm using hot glue and i'm going to use the hot glue to kind of hold that right there now if you've seen me if you've seen my video the other day when I did this with um, lace, I'm doing it the same way, but we're just going to see the difference. Oh, there's my glue stick. The difference that you get when you use the, um, the, the muslin. So again, we fold it in half diagonal. 
fold it in half again. And I just put a little spot of hot glue in there to hold that together there. So, and I'm going to do all four of those pieces. my nails are still that I did a video on the second I think it was the second today is something like I don't know what today is 14th what is it yes it is the 14th these are still the same nails this one here I don't know if I didn't have it completely um, pressed down good or something but these are actually na uh, color street c color street nail polish that my granddaughter she is just started her own little business to sell these um color street nails and so far i like them because i like to have my nails done i don't like to have to wait for them to dry these are like a peel and stick this here nail oh my god last night i hurt that nail i'm still kind of hurting because i went to pull up my sock and then and then my nail got hung up on my sock and it pulled it backwards it made it bleed oh man that was rough Okay, now I'm going to, um, that has nothing to do with these flowers, though. It has nothing to do with these flowers. It just has to do with my mouth runs over time. My mouth just runs over time. So, and, and just things just pop into my head and then I talk about them. Yeah, it just, so you have to be kind of careful of what you hear. Careful of what you hear, because sometimes you can't unhear what you done heard. Well, you done heard, you can't unhear it again. Yeah, so, so I'm um, still folding these in quarters and just gluing them slightly together like this. And I'll get them all glued in quarters. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with them. I've been doing different stuff. Well, I sit here, you know. Well, I watched a couple of movies. I've just been watching movies. I get, you know, I get in moods to watch movies. So in the last, like, three or four days, I think I've watched, like, three or four or five movies. I don't know. I just watched two this morning while I'm just sitting here um, playing and doing nothing. I need to be cleaning my house or something because I'm having some company tomorrow. Madonna. Madonna. Not Madonna, but my friend Donna is coming over. Well, she's going to try to come over. She's not sure she's going to come over. But she's going to try and come over. And um, I hope she does because I'd love to see her because I miss her. Okay. And anyway. Now. Now what I'm going to do. See how my strings are struck to my strings. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. This is kind of tricky. I got black ink on my hands because I was doing something else. So don't mind the black ink. I wiped it off, but I guess it didn't wipe off real good. So now I'm, did you see how I did that? I just glued that, its corner onto that circle like this. And then I'm going to put glue here. And then I'm going to put this corner and put it that way. See, so I got both of these ends are pointed this way. The folded part is and I don't know if that's like a law or anything. I just do it that way. And so then I'm going to put glue here. Let me just put it across here. And then I'm going to put this one here. And then this one here. So see the folds are all going the same direction. To do, to do, to do. To do. They're all going the same direction. So now you see, like here in the middle, you see an X. So now with the smaller ones, the smaller squares that are turned into triangles, we're going to put them like over. See how that is over? Over the, um, we're going to put the point in the middle, but go over that opening. See where them others came together? So that's what we're going to do there. So I'm going to put the, let me see, I'll put the glue on and put this one and then put the next one. See there? And then put the next one. Where'd it go? 
jumped out of my hand and then put the last one so then that looks like a square on top of a square now you might want to have a square flower you don't have to have a square flower though okay so i'm gonna mash them down in there push that down and if you have something hard to push with then you smash that glue this is my batman whistle because sometimes i have to help batman and robin and this is my whistle but anyway my tool of the trade i push that down and see when you push that glue down in the middle you're smashing it tight and that kind of lifts up the edges around okay now like i said i was going to say i saving this string and so I'm going to take a wad of this string, just like some of the strings. See, this is the string that I pulled off of the edges of that muslin, the threads. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of put it together in like a little wad. Like just so, just kind of squish it all up together. And um, kind of even it up there with your fingernails with your beautiful fingernails if you've got color street nails on see that's that advertise that i'm doing for my granddaughter i should put a um link i should put her link always underneath her link her whatever page underneath my um in my description box just in case you all want to check her out okay now i'm gonna put glued right down here in the center and i'm gonna put that little bit of fabric not fabric the threads and i'm gonna put that in the middle and push that down nicely and you only have to put the glue in the middle you don't have to put it all the way around the edge of that string just in the middle that's all and then you get a button or a bead or whatever you want to use and you get that button i'm using a button and I think I'm just going to take this little golden button and put that right in the middle. I like that gold. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so and then what I do is I put another little bit of glue there and put that. And this is a shabby chic flower. And it's ooh, and it's square. Wait a minute, I didn't I um slipped. I slipped okay there now but now it is square you might want a square you might want to start a new fad with square buttons I mean flowers but I'm gonna take it I'm gonna cut the corners off I'll cut the corners so that it is not square now it's more round I just cut those four square those those little corners off and then I will go here and I will um pull the extra threads off of those corners that I just cut so then it will be kind of shabby all the way around okay now what you now can do now see the the flower is quite flat still i mean it is three-dimensional but it is quite flat and which is nice if you're putting something on the if you're putting it on the inside of a journal or something you don't want anything too thick but now what i can do is i can take some more of this these threads I'm going to take some more of these threads and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wind them up into a little wad that's the only word I know to call this a little wad a little bouquet of thread and I'm going to take that and I'm going to go into that middle one I'm going to put a little bit of glue inside where that little one the little ones are with the little guys you know and so put that thread in there now if you have a different color thread if you have 
um, maybe a different color of threads to put inside there then you're going to get um, now let's say if you were doing something maybe with some pinks maybe you're making a, collect, a bouquet with maybe some some pink ribbons or something and you want to get it to kind of uh, mash, match up a little bit then you might want to put some pink threads in there and and you could even just pull them off of a, a a spool of thread you know just a spool of pink thread and um, so there see I'm taking that smaller one just open it up a little bit and go inside of there put that little bit of glue in there and push that thread in there just push that thread in there and there it is and then I'm going to do that on all four of those the the one inch I'm not gonna you could do it on the on the large squares too you could do that too and that would probably be just beautiful but um the and so here now this is the third one let me see if I can get my fingernail in there let me see if I can find it and see how I I'm just don't have my glasses on can't see flipping thing okay now let's see okay now and I'm gonna put that one right in there oh, just cut that real long piece I wouldn't cut a short piece of thread off but that one I cut off and um, then I got one more little chunk of thread or if you don't use your threads if you're using lace and you don't have late you could use just a little piece of cheesecloth and it would kind of do the same thing so see I got that and then and then I got one more right here it's kind of hard to see because it's all the same color but it really makes for a pretty pretty flower now See, I could go inside here, too, in these, and push and make those pop up a little bit more. But I don't really have enough thread here, I don't think. I could break that into four pieces. I guess I could. Yeah, I could do that. And, um... Yeah, I can make, this isn't as much fluff. I'm going to take these little pieces, too, that I cut off the corners. Waste not, want not, they say. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that. I'm going to go inside here now, inside these big ones, the big petals on the, the bottom ones. And put a little glue there. See, you don't have to have anything fancy, shimancy. Now, you can do these. Now, I did a model just muslin, but if you have other colors of fabric, you can use other colors of fabric. And um, just when you use muslin, it just goes with any color that you're working with. Whatever project you're working with, you can... Um, I'm just picking up those little pieces, and I'll stick them in there. Whatever project you're working with, whatever color, you know, it just, you make them to match or you make them to unmatch. It just, whatever. But these are, I think, just beautiful because they're very primitive looking. I love primitive looking things. And um, I really think I was born in the wrong era because I would have wanted to live on Little House on the Prairie. I would have been happy living on Little House on the Prairie. And put that in there. And then I have one more. One more petal there to open. It has nothing in its little mouth. So I'm going to take those other little pieces of those corners that I pulled off. And that little bit more thread I have. Oop, there's another little piece of thread. I'm just going to get that smooshed up in a little smooshy. 
smoosh. Just get it in a little smoosh there. See, there it is in the smoosh. And then I will put a little bit of glue on there. And then smoosh that in there. And I will push it down with my Batman whistle. You should hold it like this so you can see Batman. And look at that flower. Look. Can you see that? I wonder if I can... Do you see that? Now that is shabby. Now if you're looking for shabby chic, this is definitely shabby chic. Let me see if I can get that to focus on there. I guess you can sort of see that. And so, and, and then earlier today I was using some just strips of of um, the same fabric and I was just stamping words on them so I can use them these ones I'm gonna put in a I've, I'm working on an order for a for a um, cigar box junk journal kit and I'm gonna put these in there this was the um this was one of the lace flowers that I did on my last video. I did a couple little lace flowers using lace instead of the muslin. So you can make them out of whatever. And then this one was just a little one I made. And so, yeah. And, and so... So you can make your flowers, you know, just out of scrap fabrics. And if you tear the scrap fabric, you know, if it's a cotton fabric and you tear it, then you get that, that shabby edge on there, which really, and that is shabby chic right there. And, and when you're making a junk journal, this, and, and you're just using scraps of fabric of whatever kind of fabric you got, that goes right with a junk journal. That's just fine. And so... That's just all I wanted to show you right now. Now I gotta go and maybe do some housework. I don't know. Yeah, how I'm so allergic to housework. I wanna do I um I wanna I might again do a video. I wanna do a video, I think, in a little while and update people on my um my journal here. Oh, I'm loving it. And so I wanna update on that. And so but what I'm gonna do right now is um pretend that I'm like all domestic and stuff and um well I better put my I need to put my um put my these back in the thing the fan is blowing blowing my um stuff around so I need to put that back in here so I don't lose my parts I don't lose my parts you know put them back in there like they belong okay put this back in my drawer because that's what I was using for my okay and then and then I'm gonna read you something some heart thoughts because <clears throat> I love my heart thoughts oh here this one is about freedom you can choose to be that part of your spirit that is totally free if you can be free in one area you can be free in many areas be willing to be free. I affirm the following. I am pure spirit and light and energy. I see myself as being free. I am free in my mind. I am free in my emotions. I am free in my relationships. I am free in my body. I am free in my life. I allow myself to connect to that part of me that is pure spirit and that is totally free. I release all my limitations and my human mind fears. I no longer feel stuck. I realize that I am far more than my personality, my problems, or my dis-ease. The more I connect with this part of me, the more I can be free in every area of my life. The part of me that is pure spirit knows how to lead me and guide me in ways that are very beneficial. I trust the spirit part of me and know that it is safe 
for me to be free. I am free in my love for myself. I let though I let that love for myself flow freely as possible. It is safe to be free. I am I am spirit and I am free. And that's one thing we need to learn to do is our body and our spirit are connected but they are not the same. Our body is different. Our body is our body. Our spirit is our soul, is our thoughts, is our... If you break your arm, you don't break your spirit. Only your arm is broke. And so if... Um, you know, your spirit, your spirit is what ever you choose to be just your spirit um, I don't know real how to explain it to me I know it in my head but then when I try to make words it doesn't work this is my Zentangle I was working on today I traced my phone and got that idea off of die die and so I traced my phone and then just started zenning in it Zentangling in it I still have my edge I'm not done working on the edge I think that's fun that's fun okay i am free and so i hope that you all kind of got some inspiration from this when i showed you how i do my flowers and other people probably do the, exactly the same thing you know see look there i can fluff them up fluff them right up okay i ask god to watch over you every step you take every move you make and i will see you on my very next video god bless to all